Brooks Redfield for iFilm TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. With me I've got super bantamweight Josh Kennedy, just won the International Challenge Belt. How are you feeling? That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm all right. A bit disappointed uh, uh, the way I won it, but it was only going one way anyway. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. My first title was it's all right. And obviously it was via disqualification. What happened in there? Can you so, explain uh, it? He kept holding. I kept landing big right hands and he could hold on. And um, it was a few times the rest said break. And rather than break, he squeezed and started to turn. And my neck was starting to bend. I thought it was going to kill me to be honest with you. But you know, it's, it's, not, it's not boxing. So, I mean, it's disgusting to do that. I, I'm, from what I'm aware of, I think it's personally going to go for him as well. So it's all right with it. So. You I was just speaking to your coach before the video and he said that you that you kind of knew he was trying to in there to get your nut kind of thing. Yeah, Did you know well, he... I watched a couple of his fights and it's just that he's the horrible, horrible mess. I mean, like, he didn't land any big shots at all, but marks him from his head. Um, it's just constantly whinging about me hitting him in low blows when I hit him in it. He's landing on like, his chest and he sends a low blow. He's just, just not, not a very uh, a nice person. Like, you know, I mean, he rushed out at you from the beginning, like trying to smother you and get hold of you and put you his head underneath you, I didn't he? I've seen me box, obviously, I can box close range and I can box, I'm, I'm a really good artist, so I've got amateur career, so my boxing skills are really good, so I imagine he had a better chance of getting him close. But uh, obviously, when I kept it long, he just didn't have any answers, apart from trying to decapitate me. <laughs> You've made it quite comfortable at the York Hall now, this is like your fifth, fifth fight here, innit? Yeah, fifth fight, yeah, I've won it. No, this has been my sixth fight, Six. I've won at the York Hall. Um, yeah, I love, I love it here, you know, it's got that professional atmosphere. Um, but yeah, I'm boxing to the end of my days, so I hate the show. And it's your birthday, happy birthday! Yeah, it's very much 25 year old man. So the way I see it, I'm a quarter of a century old. It's depressing. <laughs> At least you won a belt on your birthday did, today. Yeah. And you had some great support, as yeah, always. My family and friends come up and support me, all my sponsors. I always get a good response here. I see them now, I live like 70 miles down south, so to have everyone come up and support me, you know, it really makes it work well. What's next for you then? You've got anything like, apart from going out tonight? Yeah, um, uh, I don't know, but I'm still my manager. I mean, I'd like to get a shot of the English top and get a shot of Davis, but uh, it's not going to happen at the moment. I think, I think um, someone else is mandatory for that, which is the opposite. Yeah, the same with the Southern area. I'd like to get a shot of the Southern area, but uh, I don't think Matthew Chan is up for that fight either. But uh, I'll just see whatever comes next. Well, have a good birthday and congratulations. Thanks for talking to iFilm. Thank you.